Saving presets within the Valhalla plugins uh, is a, a pretty simple affair. Now, over here, I have a finder window. You can see I'm in my user directory, non-lin, and here in vintage verb. Uh, let's get back into logic. I'm going to make a quick preset, non-lin. Right. Cool. I think that'll do. So go to the preset menu, go up to save as, and you can navigate to your user directory. I'm going to put it in the non-lin folder, and we will call this best non-lin ever. Now I'm going to hit save, and you'll see it pop up right there. So we know it's there. Uh, and that's, that's how you save a preset within Vintage Verb in this case. Now, let's say I want to give this preset to a friend of mine who's working in his studio, also with Vintage Verb. Uh, and rather than go into here and dig out the preset from within all of this, come in here and I can copy to the clipboard. Now, if I were to go, uh, let's say, to text edit uh, or my mail app or whatever, um, but in in text edit, let's say I'm going to do a new file, and if I hit paste, now that is that preset in text form. Uh, I could then copy this or just paste it directly into an email, send it to my friend who can then copy it. So if he selects that, copies, let's go back into logic, and he were to hit paste from clipboard, it's going to now paste all of those parameters into here, and he will have exactly the same setting that I just created. Uh, super simple, very flexible, and uh, very handy. So utilize that. Share your presets with people.